one tracking the gate. Operation Brutal Swarm is coming to Rainbow Six Siege with a new attacker who can launch enemy detecting bees. Plus, there's a new impact EMP grenade entering some loadouts and a host of other new... Sorry, what? Ah, yes, I did say bees. Micro air vehicles, if you want to get technical, but yeah, bees. Bees that ping you. All thanks to this guy. His name is Grim, and he hails from Singapore. He's a three-speed attacker who can wield the 552 Commando Assault Rifle or the SG CQB Shotgun. He's got the P229 pistol as a secondary and breach charges or claymores as gadget options. But the thing that's got everybody talking is his Kawan Hive Launcher, an intel gathering, enemy revealing unique ability fueled by bees. Here's how it works. The Kawan Hive Launcher shoots projectiles that stick to surfaces. When a projectile lands, it deploys a canister onto the floor. The canister opens up and bees. The bees form a swarm in a set area. The swarm does not move. If you're caught in the swarm or run into it, the bees will be all over you. You cannot swat them away. Your firearms are useless against them. You will be tracked in real time while you are in the swarm and pinged a few more times even if you escape the swarm. Eventually the bees will run out of juice and fall away, if you live that long. Obviously the swarm is a place that defenders don't want to be, so put it in places you don't want them to go, like maybe that stairwell on your flank. You can also use the Kawan Hive Launcher to root defenders out of places you think they might be, like behind this half wall on Stadium or in this particular corner of Cafe. If you happen to tag an enemy, maybe they'll hunker down and hope you can't get an angle on them. And maybe your ally will have a frag grenade handy. Maybe the defender will catch a case of ping panic and try to run away. And maybe Lion's EE-1D scan is active at that very moment. Grim excels at clearing roamers, especially when teamed up with Jackal. But he can also help attackers advance on the objective in tandem with operators like Sens or Gridlock or anyone with smoke grenades. The range of his Kawan Hive Launcher gives Grimm the power to exert influence at a distance, and even between floors, while remaining relatively safe himself. Now, defenders, you don't want Grimm's ping-happy pals to get up in your business. Jaeger and Wamai are your first line of defense, as their gadgets can stop Grimm's projectiles from landing and releasing beats. Aruni's gates will zap the projectiles as well, though Grimm and his teammates might benefit from using his launcher to clear her obstructions. Kaid and Bandit are also decent deterrents to Grimm's efforts, as electricity will destroy his projectiles. But perhaps the most versatile Grimm countering Stratoby is to bring Mute. A canister that lands near a Mute Jammer cannot deploy bees. A player who is in a Mute Jammer radius cannot be swarmed. And a swarmed player who enters the Mute Jammer's area of effect will lose their swarm immediately. Oh, and then there's Vigil, whose cloak ensures that bees can't see him. So, if you're counting on those bees to watch your flank while he's in the match, beware. Grim and his attacker allies will have new territory for hunting down enemies as Operation Brutal Swarm introduces the stadium map to the full-time competitive roster. Initially appearing in 2021's Road to SI event, Stadium has been polished up for its debut on the main stage. Unbreakable glass walls create an unusual degree of transparency between attackers and defenders in certain places, and the gantry spawn high over the main structure lets attackers approach with style. Once inside, make use of the color-coded areas to sharpen your callouts, or just bring Grim along for some extra pinging power. Operation Brutal Swarm is also dropping some new gameplay changes, including an impact EMP grenade that will grant more attackers the ability to counter electronic devices. The radius is smaller than Thatcher's unique EMP ability, and the impact's detonation means you'll have to act fast to time your breaches and incursions and what have you. 
Also, some recoil changes to sustained weapons fire are coming for PC players only, while all players will benefit from increased loadout customization. You see, weapon attachments are being more widely distributed across different weapon types to give you more options to work with. Be sure to spend some time in the shooting range to get a feel for the changes, and take note that the damage penalty from the suppressor has been removed. Sneaky. A few more updates arriving with Operation Brutal Swarm include improvements to the tactical map, and a change to the map ban system to help increase map diversity. Plus, you'll now be able to report cheaters using Match Replay to show the receipts, and the team will be rolling out a new reputation penalty for abusive text chat. Finally, two operator balancing updates to look forward to later this season. Players wearing Rook's armor plates will be able to use the Withstand ability to pick themselves up from DBNO, and Dokebi's Logic Bomb will affect dead players who are using cameras in support mode. Operation Brutal Swarm is headed your way, and Grimm is bringing a powerful new tool for getting intel on defenders and sowing panic among their ranks. He'll be available from day one with the premium track of the Brutal Swarm Battle Pass, and unlockable two weeks later with Renown or R6 credits. Keep up with the latest on Siege by subscribing to this channel, and visit us at news.ubisoft.com. Hive set. Bot's active. Hostile. Op 4 neutralized.